Okay, so this is going to be um, my explanation to problem B of code forces around 724. So just to briefly summarize what the problem is about, um, basically you have some string of lowercase characters and you have to find the, the um, lexicographically shortest, or I guess to be more specific, the shortest string, and then among all the shortest strings, the lexicographically minimum string that doesn't appear as a substring in the input. So for example, if we had a string that was just all the letters, all like 26 letters, so if it was like uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to X, Y, Z, then the answer to this um, input would be A, A. And the reason being is because A, A doesn't appear as a substring in this string, but all, um, all strings of length of one appear as a substring in the string. And also out of all strings that out of all strings of length two that don't appear as a substring in this input, AA is a lexicographically minimum. So how do we approach this problem? Well, the crucial observation is to notice that the, the answer can never be, is that the answer can't be very long. To be specific, the answer can never be of length greater than three. And here's the reason why. If we let n be the length of a string, we're given that n is less than or equal to a thousand. This means that um, n has any, has, um, if we assume n is um, greater than or equal to three, then there are three n minus two. Wait, no, there are n, n minus two, my bad. There are n minus two strings of length, of length three. So substrings of length three. And then if obviously if n is less than three, then there are zero substrings. And so n minus two is at most 998, right? And so there's at most 998 substrings of length three in our input. Now let's try to consider how many total possible strings exist of length three. So if we imagine this is an arbitrary string of length three, we have 26 options for this first string, for the first character, my bad. 26 char choices for the next character, and 26 choices for a third character. And so this means that there exists 26 cubed possible strings of length three. And this is roughly, um, if I remember correctly, this is like roughly like 17,000 or like 18,000, something like that. But the point is, is that this number is always strictly greater than 998. So this means that there always exists at least one string of length three that doesn't appear as a substring in our input of n of a string of n characters, because n is at most a thousand, while there are much more than 998 possible strings of length three. So with this observation, we can simply do a brute force check. So because the problem statement wants us to first minimize the length of a string, we first check all possible strings of length one. And so there's only 26 of them. So the first step is just check um, like substrings of length one. And there's obviously only 26 of them because there's 26 characters in the alphabet. And then if we find that one of these characters doesn't appear in our input, then we find the smallest one and that's our answer. Otherwise, if all of these strings of length one appear as a substring in our input, then we repeat the step for all substrings of length equals two. And there's 26 squared of them. And then we repeat the same process. And if we find out that all of these strings appear as some substring in our input, then the last step is to check all substrings of length three, which we know is 26 cubed. And because of a logic that I explained earlier, it, by the end of this step, we're guaranteed to have found an answer. So we can just terminate the process over here. And so that's pretty much how you solve problem B. The final complexity, depending on how you implement it, will either look something like O of N or 
O of n times some constant factor that's close to 26 cubed. And because n is only 1,000, like, this will definitely work. And this, with good implementation, should run in time as well. So yeah, that's how you solve problem B of CF round 724.